Welcome back everyone. So, so the next step now is the hooks. So what we need to do now is creating the hooks. So when we create the hooks, there are different level of hooks that we can create. Before your test runs, you can have that annotation. Before your feature runs, you can have that annotation. Before your scenario runs, you can have that annotation. Before your scenario blocks runs, you can have that annotation. Before your step will run, you can have that annotation. And also, after your step has run, after your scenario block has run, after your scenario has run, then also after your feature, then after your test run. So this is going to be run in that sequence. The first thing that's going to be run, if you have a block and you already have that block as test run, that is going to be executed first. Then if there's any annotation for before feature, that comes next. And also your before scenario comes next. And after that one goes on, then if you have your after step, it goes. So the major one that you are going to be using, that we are going to use today, is before scenario and after scenario. So basically, what are the things that I need to do before my scenario starts? And what are the things that I need to do after my scenario has been finished? So this is a different attribute that we have and also how they are used basically so saying now this is your before your test runs you run and before after entire test is run it should be static and also the same way your before feature also should be static in ms test this is i think someone also asked the same question or MS test on and you didn't have also uh, answered that when I showed the difference between MS test and end units so that said we are not going to be using those annotations in end units but well, instead of that this is the corresponding annotation that we are going to be using so and yeah so this is the order uh, I should do graphically before so we can it also you can also have order one or that two just to know but this is a bit advanced so we're going to start with a simple step basically so to create your hooks we already have our hooks folder you then need to just right click on it and then add new so once you add new there's a template for um specular hooks you just click on that and then write your code. So we have to just differentiate it. The folder I have labeled it oops with S and my class I have put all it oops without S just to make sure it is distinct. So then you would have your before scenario, your after scenario implemented as those. And then you can you can change it. So this is what we going to do. You know, before uh, we don't, we are not going to use before feature right now. So like I said, we're going to use our um, before scenarios. Like I said, this is what we used last week for MS test. We are not going to use MS test. We are going to be using end units. So for end units, we don't need the dot basically. So I'm going to do that right now. So basically, this is not. Okay, one minute. So let's go in the and um, let's create our X add new and in our spec we get X and like I said this is going to be X with a S and we're going to say add. So now we have our hooks. So it's not going to be sealed. We're going to leave it like that. And then before, in our before feature, we're going to bring our iWeb driver. So we're going to bring our driver in. So it's going to be with W. And then we're going to 
fit our using QA select. So um, then we're going to say our driver is equal to in our before scenario is equal to a new Chrome driver. Open or close. So um, then this is going to be using Chrome driver. In our after scenario, we're going to create the driver. So we're going to say create. We can as well just dispose it also. Driver. So dispose. Just to make sure it's done. So then also. After our driver has been instantiated, we can as well just quickly just make sure. Okay, let me just leave this for now. So bear in mind, I have done something now, which is another mistake that people would do. So I have deleted that. So bear in mind that every of your brace that you've opened should have a post brace. Just bear that in mind. When something is, doesn't look good, you look into that. that well, opening brace I need to have a closing break brace so before my after scenario just bear in mind when you start deleting stuff it's very important to put that in in mind so let me run my test now so I can run my test well let me put a breakpoint here so if I put a breakpoint I want to see how the test runs so for me to know how the test runs, I need to use the bug mode for the breakpoints. If I use it run mode, it's not going to break. It's going to run fluently without pausing. But if I say in the bug mode, and it's going to stop where I put the breakpoint. To put a breakpoint, just click on this side of the of the panel where you have a statement or a direction. So you can see it's there so that's where it's actually alighted for me that my code stops here then i can press or f10 or f11 so now i can say f10 so my chrome driver is instantiated so that is the opening so um, that is finished and you can see it's already alighted and finished so nothing is done i can see all this code is going to be executed but nothing is inside so which is fine Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, so that is fine. So, and like I said, hey, this is basically because I'm going, this is a code generated automatically with end units, as you can see. It's called the end unit tear down and everything, but this is not you, it is code generated by end units, so I don't need to worry about this. So, So that is that done basically and everything is, is finished. So and um, that's my test done for the first time, just opening and closing the browser. The next thing that I want to do, I need to close this one and this one I don't care about this because it's already generated for me. So that close and also this post. So and um, that's fine. So the next step now, as you can see, maybe I didn't even show you before. So it was open in a restore state. So I want to be sure that my window is maximized. So I can say driver dot think is on manage. Open and close brace and bracket dot window. Then think should be maximized. Open and like I said, all these are statements. You can see my method doesn't have any closing semicolon. So bear in mind, don't put that. And you can see how this one doesn't have. It's just statements that's going to have your semicolon. If you don't put anything in there, you're going to have an error, as you can see. And it's going to actually propose it for you. To say that oh it's a special semicolon so you can actually put it so and um, so that is going to maximize the screen so if you and I'm going to do something I'm going to put my 
this tab, yeah, so before I actually post this, it. so, and I'm going to run, okay, I think this is still working, I'm going to stop that, so, let I'm going to stop that anyway, so, and I'm going to debug now, so that, um, my breakpoint is before the closing of the driver. So I can see that the driver is open and is maximized. Okay, that's an instance of the browser. Okay, as you can see, it's got maximized actually. So that's fine. Then it's not here. I can then continue and it's, it's closed. So which is fine. So I'm going to close the other ones. So that we are not confused. Okay, cool. Alright, so this is where we are right now.